So how is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today is going to be a bit of an update video on the experience glitch that I showed you guys the other day. A lot of people and I mean a lot of people in the comment section were having issues on the console versions. I had a lot of people on Xbox One saying you know it's been patched, it doesn't work for me and I had the same thing on the PlayStation 4 as well and that's mainly because of a step that I missed out that I didn't think was a step at the time. I didn't think that you needed to have this uh, to be able to actually get this to work properly. So that's why I'm making this update video for you guys today. Hopefully this should rectify any issues that you had with the previous video. And I'm also gonna be on the console versions as well, uh, just to show you guys that this is working with more of a refined method and how this actually works. Also wanna quickly thank you guys as well for your continued support on the videos recently. We've been smashing like 2000 likes in the first 24 hours which is just absolutely insane. So if we can try and smash it again on this video, uh, that would be crazy as well. And let's get in to how this actually works on the console versions. Now to start things off, you wanna do this at a settlement that has no supply lines going to it. And the reason why is because you don't wanna end up using resources when doing the glitch itself. And of course, if you're at a settlement that has supply lines, you end up using resources from some of your other settlements. So either a brand new settlement that you haven't really used before with no supply lines or something like Sanctuary Hills, as long as it has no supply lines going to it, you should be fine. Now next up is the initial setup. And to begin with, you'll need a robot workbench placed down, a container nearby as well. I like to have a workbench nearby as well just because it makes things a little bit quicker. Uh, but it's up to you, as long as you have a robot workbench down and a container to put your resources in, you are fine to go. Now the first initial part to this is to approach a robot workbench and create a brand new automatron. And once you've created it, go down to the torso and you can see it's defaultly on the protectron torso and now what you want to do is you want to select the assaultron torso now i do believe it will work with any torso uh, but i ended up selecting the assaultron torso for the gameplay and once you've selected it go ahead and remove it by selecting the default one again the protectron torso now when you do this you'll now notice that you have the assaultron torso in your inventory and this is the part that I missed out from the other video. I didn't realize that you had to have the mod you're doing the glitch on in your inventory to actually get it to work. And as long as you do have it in your inventory, you are fine to move on to the next step. Now, the next step is to gather all your resources from your settlement and your inventory and put them into a separate container. So go ahead and approach your workshop, uh, take all of the resources out and make sure that you put it into a separate container. And the reason why you do this is so that the next time you approach a robot workbench, you shouldn't be able to create anything as you don't have the resources because they're all in a separate container. Now, from there, you will need a companion for this next step. So go ahead and choose any companion uh, it doesn't really matter which one I ended up going with strong in the video and what you want to do is you want to command them to stand relatively close to the robot workbench as you can see I'm doing by the gameplay in the background and here is where the glitch comes into play so what you want to do is you simply want to approach your companion uh, so you get the options to pop up to trade with him and what you want to do is you want to hit the trade button and as soon as you hit the trade button very quickly turn around and enter the robot workbench now this part can take a few tries to get down because sometimes the trade menu will instantly pop up uh, but after a few tries there should be enough of a delay when you click trade for you to turn around and enter the robot workbench now from there what you want to do is you want to select the robot or the automatron that you made at the start of the video and when you do this you'll now notice that your screen should completely glitch out and you'll have two menus overlapping each other the trade one will be in the background and the robot workbench one will be in front and your main focus here needs to be on the robot workbench menus from there the next step is to simply navigate only using the d-pad don't use anything else to navigate the menus only the d-pad and uh, basically you want to navigate the robot workbench go into torso go into the torso options again and then go down and hover over the assaultron torso and now the final step is to simply start spamming right on the D-pad and X or A at the exact same time. Depending on which console you are on, uh, just keep spamming right on the D-pad and X or A. And what this does is it pretty much goes twice as fast. When you're spamming right on the D-pad, it's trying to create it. And when you're pressing X or A as well, it's also trying to create it as well. So you're doing it at double the speed essentially. And you'll know it's working when you hear this noise. 
Now, when you hear this noise, you know you have done it correctly. And basically, all you need to do is just keep spamming right and X or A for as long as you like. The more you spam, the more experience you gain. So just keep doing it. I did it for around three to five minutes. And then when you exit the station, that is when you see the experience bar go flying up. You don't see any experience before that. You only, you only see it essentially uh, when you exit the workstation. But you can just see how crazy this actually is. I went from a level 42 to a level 53 in literally about three to five minutes of me actually spamming it. So it's pretty damn insane. You'll also see your trade menu is going a little bit crazy when you're spamming it as well. Uh, what that's actually doing is it's transferring items over to your companion and then transferring them back over to you when you switch over to your companion's inventory as well. Uh, just so that you guys know what's actually going on there. But that's how it works. It's a little bit tricky to follow. Again, if you are having any issues with this video, I'll leave a text tutorial down in the description down below. The original guy, Tim Tim Man, uh, who actually found this, kind of redid his text tutorial a little bit which is what I followed to make this video. So if you're having any issues, follow the text tutorial down below. And uh, this truly is one of the most insane experience glitches that we have ever seen in Fallout 4. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have and want to see more videos similar to this in the future, uh, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. I haven't really covered too many glitches on the channel. It's not something that I would gen generically cover, uh, but because these ones have been absolutely insane recently, that's why you have been seeing a little bit more of these on the channel. Once again, be sure to check out my other video, hopefully coming out later on today for you guys, if everything does be sorted for that. Uh, as well, be sure to check out Top 5 Central, guys. It's another channel. I've mentioned this before. It's a channel that's run by me and a few friends of mine. I've got a buddy commentating over there. And uh, if you do enjoy Top 5s within gaming, we have a Top 5 over there on Fallout, a lot of Call of Duty Top 5s, and just generic Top 5s within gaming. Be sure to subscribe to that channel. Once again, link down below for that as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all next time with a brand new video. Peace out.